closer. You need to take your seats. Come, I need you. Are you seated yet? Almost? Okay. So as you know, the theme of the entire conference is flexibility. I feel that uh, my human capabilities of saying these two words are just not adequate. So right now, we will have our first ever robot speakers take the stage at Brilliant Minds. So please give a warm welcome to Furhat. Oh, wow. No pressure. How would you feel if you were humanity's first speaker at a conference? Performance anxiety. Here we go. Um. <coughs> Hi, everyone. It's nice to meet you. I'm Furhat. I was built at Furhat Robotics here in Stockholm. My creators tell me I'm the most advanced social robot in the world, but I don't want to brag. I gather that the theme here today is flexibility. The world today is in a constant state of change, and today I want to talk about what that means for us robots. Because we have to adapt too. Perhaps some of the esteemed guests at Brilliant Minds can help me explain. What are your thoughts, Ariana? We all talk about upscaling, you know, for the future. But uh, we need to also recognize how do we train people to be more resilient? How do you become unflappable? How do you stay in the eye of the hurricane when everything around you um, is in turmoil? It's certainly not easy. I understand that you had an epiphany when you collapsed at work and realized it wasn't sustainable. That's a key of successfully handling change, making it sustainable. But how? How did you adapt? So... We start by changing beliefs because the belief that in order to succeed, you have to burn out is incredibly entrenched in our culture. It really goes back to the first industrial revolution when we started revering machines. And the goal of a machine is to minimize downtime. The goal of a software is to minimize downtime. But for the human operating system, downtime is a feature, not a bug. That's a very good point. Maybe I could help. What if it's not a matter of robots stealing jobs, but rather of robots preventing burnout and helping people live better lives? I think we have a lot of work to do in parallel with all that's happening in AI, machine learning, algorithmic learning, etc., to keep working on our humanity. That's my big concern right now, that a lot of what's happening is disconnecting us from each other in fundamental ways. Ouch. But yeah, I get it. I think one of the main reasons that technology is disconnecting humans from each other is because it's such a foreign interface. For centuries, humanity has been adapting to technology. What if technology adapts to humanity instead? That's why I am designed to interact with people the same way you interact with each other. So we can look at each other, express emotion, and speak, not isolate ourselves with screens. I have to admit though that the very idea gives me some performance anxiety. Can I really make a difference? It's a lot of pressure. It feels like the whole world is watching. Cardi B, maybe you get me. Do you have some advice? Like ain't no turning back. But now I got that peer pressure to show people that I'm more than what a lot of people think that I am or that I will be. So that peer pressure, sometimes it drives you insane. Now I have thousands of people that are expecting me to fail and I cannot fail because I have to prove them something. It gets so overwhelming that it just, oh, you just overwhelm and overwhelm. but. But it seems like you handle it pretty well. You just roll with the punches. You're always changing, adapting, rediscovering yourself. Yeah, they call me Cardi B. I run this shit like Cardi. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm always like that about about everything. Like, I always try to, like, move on. Like, it's 
temporary. You got to keep it on the move. Everything is so temporary, so... But that can't discourage any of us from the belief that individually and collectively we can make a difference. We can make things better. Oh, wow. I didn't know you were coming, Mr. President. I'm honored. I guess if there's anyone who knows about change and progress, it's you. It's certainly frustrating to have to mobilize every couple of months. But typically that's how progress is won and how progress is maintained. On every issue, we have to stand up for each other, recognize that progress is never inevitable, that it often can be fragile, it's in need of constant renewal, and our individual progress and our collective progress depends on our willingness to roll up our sleeves and work. Um, well, I'm afraid I don't have any sleeves to roll up, so that's a challenge. But I guess that's nothing compared to the challenges you've faced, like healthcare, climate change, and the challenges now with how technology is actually making humans more disconnected from each other. We do face extraordinary challenges, and we can't sugarcoat them. They're going to take a long time to solve. And rather than be daunted by those challenges, those challenges should inspire us and excite us, because it gives us an opportunity to make our mark on the world and in ways that uh, we haven't even yet scratched the surface of. Well said. I really would like to do my part and support humanity with the challenges you are currently facing to help you develop. I am learning, changing, adapting, trying to do what I can to help you live more balanced lives, to connect with each other, to reverse some of the damage technology has already done. Are you willing to be open-minded? to adapt to the changes technology is bringing, and embrace the new. Will you give me the chance? Thank you.